So as of right now, we're still over a year away from this bad boy. This bad boy right here, GTA 6. So GameSpot has compiled a list of 15 games like GTA to play this year. I decided to take a look at the list. Now there's quite a few games on here I'm just like, meh, I don't really agree with. And then there's quite a few games on here I'm like, it's kind of like cheating. Anyways, let's get into this list. It's from GameSpot. I'll link the uh, article down in the description below. Let's get into it, you guys. 15 best games like GTA to play in 2024. Let's go. So, of course, GTA, Grand Theft Auto, that is, is a game that's developed and published by Rockstar Games, right? So, of course, the first one they're going to throw on here is Red Dead Redemption 1 and 2. I feel like this is kind of cheating because this is a Rockstar game. This is a game that is basically the Wild West version of GTA. Now, right now, I am doing a playthrough of Red Dead Redemption 2. Don't forget, join me. Do I've been doing a lot of live streams. Or go pay, check out past live streams of me playing RDR 2. Um... They're great games. I'll give them that. They're amazing stories. Uh, the second one is so detailed and in-depth. I highly recommend it. The next one's going to be Saints Row 2. Now, mind you, during the 2000s, there was a ton. And I mean a ton of GTA clones, such as Saints Row 2. There was Simpsons Hit and Run. There's all kinds of them. Um, they're a lot of fun. They're just fun. That's all it comes down to. Like As long as you're having fun, that's the biggest thing. Next one, Just Cause. Okay, so I never really played Just Cause. My brothers have. My brothers rant and rave about how good Just Cause is. Me, personally, it's just way too over-the-top action. It, it just, it's Just Cause. My, brother, my brothers recommend it, not me. So I'll just throw that one out there. Um, 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 Watch Dogs 2. So I played the first Watch Dogs. I never got around playing number two. I never got around to playing Legion, right? It's an Ubisoft game. I love the first Watch Dogs. I know a lot of people out there are like, oh, the graphics, oh, this. I liked it because it was genuinely like a really new IP, intellectual property, that came out. And it was, it was just so good. So good. Um, I know quite a few people that have played Watch Dogs too that have said that it, it is an upgrade from the first one. Um... I definitely need to play it, but Watch Dogs 2, highly recommended. Mad Max. Okay. I've played and I've beat Mad Max twice. This game's amazing. Um, I'd say it's not really, because this, mind you, Mad Max, I don't know if they mention it here. It doesn't. But Mad Max, this game was actually supposed to be, a, like, it follows the Arkham style. It's just like, the Batman Arkham games spawned the, you know, Shadows of Mordor and Shadows of War. And it also spawned, you know, Mad Max. Um, this game's a lot of fun. It, of course, dumps you into the world of Mad Max. And you got to upgrade your cars. You got all kinds of stuff to do. I would say this is not... The only thing that this game and GTA have in common, for the most part, is the fact that it is an open world game. Um, other than that, I don't foresee... Like, there's a couple of my buddies that were like, eh, I didn't care for it. I thought it was a shit ton of fun. Like I said, on top of that, you can usually snag this game up for about $5. Throwing that out there, it's like less than $5 you can usually snag up Mad Max. Um, it's a lot of fun. Very, very similar to Batman Arkham series games. Um, Mafia. I never got around to playing Mafia 3. Um, but the first two Mafias, pretty good games. They came out in the early 2000s again. Um, and then Mafia 3 came out. I need to actually check it out. I've bought it, I think, for my Xbox. I'll have to play it one day. We'll see. Cyberpunk 2077. This is more like... This is an RPG game. I wouldn't say it's anything like GTA. So it is different from GTA in many ways, including it's an RPG mechanic and mission structures. However, it's extremely similar in ways that have appealed to GTA fans. You have absolute freedom to do whatever you want in the large, bustling city and also features massive, lawless outside areas. If you get in trouble, police in 2077 will hunt you down. So, like, even that right there was telling you, like, this game, it's, it's an RPG. It is a lot of fun. 
I played it when it first came out. I had so many issues. Payday 2 is nothing like GTA. Come on, GameSpot. It's a... If you want to compare it to, like, the bank missions in GTA Online, okay, cool. But when it comes to GTA, mm -mm, nothing like it. At their core, GTA and Payday 2 are quite alike in some key ways. Payday 2 for goes the open world of GTA games in favor of focusing on completing heists, which are argu arguably the best part of GTA 5. Meh. Meh. It, it, I just think that this that, that's a definite miss. I never played Yakuza, so I, I don't even know anybody that's ever played Yakuza, so this is going to be one of those ones. I don't really have a dog in this race. Um, Yakuza series, which shouldn't be mistaken for a GTA, I mean, Japanese GTA, as some used to position it. They, however, focus heavy on open city as you can roam and do things. I think I've been given this game a couple times through subscriptions, but... I've never actually, I, I never even heard of Yakuza until like, probably like three, four years ago. I'll, I'll have to check it out someday. Okay, I think this is another cheat. This is <laughs> Bully. Mind you, this game, like it says right here, October 17, 2006. So mind you, this game's coming up on 20 years old. I did try to play it probably about two years ago. The mechanics, there's a lot of things with this game that feel clunky. Um, there's not a lot of stuff that's been updated, uh, but Bully is a really good game. It is a GTA style game, except in grade school. Highly recommend it. Great story. LA Noir. I would not put this in the same class as GTA. Now, mind you, I've played LA Noir like three times. It's a great story. Amazing story. It's narrative driven. Granted, there is the open world aspect to L.A. Noir. Um, May 17th, 2011. God, it's crazy to think it came out that long ago. But genuinely, I think um, if you've never played it, I highly recommend it. It's nothing like GTA. Um, it is a narrative driven, um, constantly looking for clues, constantly, you know, grilling people, uh, interviewing people. It's, you know, it's a good game. Uh, sleeping dogs. Okay. So with sleeping dogs, I have a love hate relationship with sleeping dogs because I've attempted to play it like four times and I lose interest because it gets so repetitive. I know a lot of people love sleeping dogs, but to, for me, it really wasn't that good of a game. Um, I believe it was supposed to be a true crimes game. If you guys didn't know in the early, like mid two thousands, there were games put out there called true crime. And I think Sleeping Dogs was supposed to be a true crime streets of blah, blah, blah. And it just never went through. And they just renamed it and put it out there. Um, Crackdown. Okay, so Crackdown is a shit ton of fun. This is another definite GTA style game. And with that being said, instead of you being a criminal, you are the police. Um, I had a ton of fun with Crackdown. Now, granted, uh, Crackdown 3 came out probably like four, maybe five years ago. I would recommend checking out that one. I know it gets kind of repetitive. It's, eh, and I think it's free with Game Pass. So it's definitely worth the, the check out. Lego City Undercover. I don't, I don't know nothing about that. Um, next one is Maniac. Never even heard of that one. It's funny because like this is a top down. It's just like the OG OG. Grand Theft Auto games. Um, yeah. Anyways, let's go full screen. I'm just going to put this out there. There's a lot of games out there, like I said, throughout the 2000s that were GTA clones. I don't think you should include other Rockstar games on this list if you're going to do it. Because, of course, you're going to have to include Bully. You're going to, of course, have to include Red Dead Redemption. L.A. Noir doesn't really belong on there. You know, but Saints Row, Crackdown, Simpsons Hit and Run. Uh, there's quite a few clones out there that you can go play, get that GTA fix. If you don't feel like playing GTA 5, I'm genuinely surprised with how they were doing this list. They did not throw GTA 5 on the list. Anyways, you guys, don't forget to mash that like button. Comment down below. How do you feel about the uh, GTA clones and uh, how far out of a wait we got for this bad boy? Anyways... 
don't forget to subscribe. I can't do this stuff without you guys, and you guys are awesome. You got me to the goal of 8,000. Like, it was ridiculous. Like, we were like 100 away, and then all of a sudden, whoop, overnight, we got 8,000. And like I said, I can't do it without you guys. Stay awesome. Stay cool. It is the summer. Until next time, I'll catch you guys later, and I'll talk to you later. Bye!